Okay, in this very short tutorial, I'll just show you a quick technique for rendering these hair particles here. So basically all I have here is a sphere in the scene and over here in the particles button, I'll just turn it off so you can see it from the beginning, right? So I just get a particle system. I change the emitter to hair type like that. I can change the hair length right in here. And you've seen how I can change the hair length otherwise down here through the vertex groups through the particle playlist that I have on here. But this deals with rendering. So the color I have is set over here, right like this. It's this green color with a little bit of transparency is what I'm showing. But if you look closely, you're really just seeing these lines. In fact, let me, let me find the camera in the scene. All right, I'll go into normal mode here, and I'll just move in a little bit and press F12 and render it and see what it looks like. It's like, okay, well, that's not bad. It kind of renders those particles, but some, but they're kind of a little too symmetrical for me. So I can come down here and come back into the uh, object itself, and then come down here into the strand button right in here. You see what I have set? I have some of these set. So if I set these down, basically this is the size at, out at the tip, and this is the size at the root. And I just changed those a minute ago. So if I render it now, you can see they're very thin there, but maybe make the root, which is down here at the base of it, much bigger, way like that. And then it's thick at the inside, so maybe you're doing a bush or something. You just want something way off in the distance of some sort. You can change that or you can invert it and do it the other way, make it really thin down at the base and maybe thick out here for whatever reason that might be, but you can see the effect. But it's a great little effect because it does work for if you're way off in the distance with with an object. A lot of times it's about, you know, faking things out way off in the distance. Well, that's not a very good example, but let's let's do it the other direction. Let's crank it up. <laughs> you know, sometimes. Yeah, okay, so there you go. So, you know, of course you could add some randomness to your particles, and that would, you know, would really help a lot. This kind of randomness is pretty good in here. Let's see if I can change it on the fly and something like that. Anyway, all right, well, that just gives you an idea. And that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.